In this problem, we have a storage tank. We're giving the volume. It contains 220 liters of liquid water, so almost the entire volume is vapor. And start at 75 degrees. And so I indicated there's liquid at the bottom, but the actual fraction of the volume of this liquid is much smaller when I've drawn here. So we're at 75 degrees, and we have some mass of liquid. Let's call that one. And we have some mass one of vapor at the start. And then it says we're going to add steam at a higher pressure and a high quality. So mostly vapor by mass. Adiabatic system. What we want to calculate is how much steam we add and then how much liquid water we have at the end of the process. So we're going to do an energy balance. And in this screencast, I'm just going to set up the energy balance and we'll do the calculations in part two. So when we start out, we have, let's call this internal energy one, and I'm going to use notation total to distinguish from internal energy per kilogram. And that internal energy is due to the mass of the liquid that we start out with and the internal energy of that liquid, which we get from the steam tables. And so the important thing is this is per kilogram. And then mass of the vapor, internal energy of the vapor, again, from the steam table. So that's the energy the system starts out with at 75 degrees saturation conditions. So we've written in terms of initial quality, let's call that X1. And that times the internal energy of the vapor plus 1 minus X1, the internal energy of the liquid, equivalent ways of expressing it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add steam. So we're going to have energy flow in, and the total amount that we flow in, let's call that mass in. This is steam at 2.3 bar, higher temperature. And so we're going to add energy. So we start out with U1 total, and the amount of energy that we add is the mass that we add. So is the mass that goes in times the enthalpy in. Remember, this is also per kilogram. And we could write this as the mass in and then the enthalpy in terms of the quality. So the quality in times the enthalpy. And we use enthalpy because this is a flow system. So the enthalpy in of the vapor and one minus the quality in times the enthalpy of the liquid coming in. So this is the energy we add. When we have flow, we use enthalpy. When we have this system, the fixed container, where we're adding or removing energy, we use the internal energy. So the last term in our energy balance is, is the final energy. So let's call that two, again, total. Well, that's just the initial internal energy plus the energy that we added. So therefore, we have our energy balance. The energy balance is in terms of values we read from the steam tables. So the final internal energy is in terms of initial internal energy and energy we added. We also can write in terms of quality. And so we say the final internal energy is the total mass at the end, M2, times the final quality times internal energy at the end of vapor, again per kilogram, 1 minus x2, internal energy of the liquid. So that's equal to the total energy balance. Now we know this internal energy from steam tables. We know this internal energy steam tables. We know these values because we know the initial conditions and we know the enthalpy is coming in. So those are all values per kilogram. Okay. We also know the initial mass of liquid that we start with because we have 220 liters and we can look up this specific volume of steam tables. We also initial mass of vapor because we know the total volume and what's not liquid is vapor. And we know the initial quality coming in. That's 0.91. So we know those values. What's unknown is the final mass, the mass that came in, and the final quality. So we have three unknowns, so we need more equations. Now, one of those equations we can eliminate because the final mass is the initial mass plus the mass in. So now we have two unknowns. We need another equation, and that results from the fact we know the total volume of the container doesn't change. So total volume, that's 65 cubic meters, Divided by the final mass, that's going to be the specific volume at the end. Well, that specific volume is going to be related to 
the quality times the volume, final specific volume that's vapor, and one minus the final quality, the specific volume that's liquid. So we can look up in the steam tables the specific values because we know we end up at 2.3 bar at saturation conditions. So now we have two equations with two unknowns. The mass in, one of the unknowns, if we substitute for M2 in terms of mass in, that's why we have two equations. And the final quality is unknown. And we solve these two equations simultaneously to determine what problem asks for, how much steam comes in, and what's the amount of liquid at the end. So in the second screencast, I'll go through the calculations.